Alright, real simple plot of this movie. Ashton Kutcher is trying to play the pretty boy, but while still trying to be a badass. Boom! Catherine Hagel's the damsel in distress. Oh my god! Also trying to be a badass. Oh, um, uh, boom. Okay, oh okay. Oh Now, I really didn't hate the trailer like most. I recognized its flaws right off the bat, and the premise was absolutely just been done to death, but I realized that it also could have some good in it. But alas, it really didn't. Ashton Kutcher actually surprised me because he did a nice job here. He wasn't fantastic, but I think he played the action comedy star quite well. Uh, he was very charming, and he did add a bit of realism to the chemistry of the two characters. Katherine Hagel absolutely was just terrible. I mean, she had her moments, but she was just playing every single character she's ever played before. I mean, the predictability level is extremely high here, filled with cliché-ness all the way. And I mean, it's kind of like watching a horror movie, where you're just screaming at the screen, No! Don't go there! But it, it just, it goes there anyway. The action scenes are actually done alright, and they can be fun at times, but like the comedy, it becomes repetitive and tedious. It really gets very, very annoying sometimes. It really just gets very, very annoying after a while, because five seconds after they meet someone, they're all being nice. A couple seconds later, they're trying to kill them. I mean, like, like we couldn't see that coming, and it's just abrupt, cruel, and annoying. Also, there's just some random, unnecessary two-minute cameo by Usher that absolutely adds nothing. There was no reason for it at all. This movie has a saving grace. It's not much, but it is Tom Selleck with his mustache, of course, and Catherine O'Hara, who are just absolutely hysterical. Every time they're in this movie, I was laughing, where most of the other parts, the entire crowd was laughing, but I just didn't find most of the stuff funny. But when they were in it, it was actually pretty funny. But still, that could not save this movie. Overall, it's just, there's dialogue that's absolutely cringe-inducing. Every single plot point is predictable. There's a random, unnecessary twist, um, which they don't even reveal it as a twist. It just comes out very casually, which is very anticlimactic. Uh, the supporting cast who play all the killers actually are all alright, but the material they are given is absolutely mediocre at best. For Tom Selleck, Catherine O'Hara, and Tom Selleck's mustache, I will give this movie a 3 and a half out of 10. I can really not in good consciousness recommend this movie to you guys. When the credits started to roll, of course I was just expecting Ashton Kutcher to come out something like this. You just got punked! Then I'd be like, oh okay, they actually weren't trying to make a quality film. We're all right. We, we just got punked by Ashton Kutcher. And I guess this is kind of a spoiler, but I don't intend on you guys seeing this. But if you don't want to, just stop now. Uh, C Catherine Hagel is uh, pregnant again. I mean, like, come, come, come on. Can this chick not get off her back? Well, what is this? So with this review, you guys just got revolutionized. How's that for a catchphrase?